Hi there. Damian David with Cornerstone Advisors. Welcome back once again for Week in Review. It's going to be a short one this week. Just have a couple of headlines to tell you about, and then I'm going to jump right to some images celebrating Memorial Day 2020. Okay, here we go. May 26, 2020. New York Stock Exchange reopened today. Dow Jones saw a huge surge, so up 530 points just because it opened. To celebrate Memorial Day this past weekend, large crowds uh, gathered at the Lake of the Ozarks in Kansas, Missouri area uh, against pretty much all the social distancing suggestions that are that have been defined so far. So Kansas and Missouri officials are urging all the participants to self-quarantine for about two weeks or so until they test negative, uh, but there's no way to enforce that. So I'll keep you informed. That's something I'll keep my eye on over the next week, 14, 20 days or so to see if uh, perhaps that activity has impacted the, the numbers of cases in COVID-19 in the Midwest. Novavax began clinical trials this week uh, for possible vaccine for coronavirus. It's working in utilizing a $388 million fund that was awarded by a Bill Gates backed group. So yet another entry into the race for a vaccine for coronavirus COVID-19. I'll keep my eyes on that one like I have in the past. There's no news or updates on any of the other clinical trials going on for a vaccine at this point. Uh, so hopefully next week I'll have some updates and, and new news for you. Either way, it's estimated that by December we'll have a, a vaccine for the coronavirus. So that's good news there. It gets closer. News from our borders. This week, U.S. has decided to suspend entry for anyone who has been to Brazil in the past 14 days. And that's just due to the massive outbreak that they've had in that region. This week, coronavirus COVID-19 stats. World confirmed cases were up to 5.54 million, up from 4.76 million last week. To date, 2.27 million have recovered. We were at 1.7 million last week. This week, we're at 348,000 lives lost to COVID-19. Last week, we were at 316,000 deaths. In the United States alone, focusing in and zeroing in within our borders, 1.71 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 compared to where we were last week at 1.52 million. 359,000 have recovered. Last week, we were up to 281,000 recoveries. And this week, we're up to almost 100,000 deaths in the United States, 99,886. Last week, we were only at 89,932 deaths from coronavirus, COVID-19. There we go. That's the week in news. Uh, again, no interviews this week due to the holiday. Just a quick outro here, just to memorialize and to honor those who gave the ultimate sacrifice in support of protecting our country. Happy Memorial Day. Stay safe, have a good week, and I'll see you next week. Here you go, guys.